Good morning. Good morning, everyone. I'll give everyone just a minute or so to get in here, as always. Good morning, good morning. <clears throat> I did not have any coffee this morning. I instead had a shake, which was very good actually. But right now I'm missing coffee. <laughs> uh, I might still have a cup of coffee later, doing work and whatnot. Good morning everyone, joining in. How's everyone's morning going? I hope well. <clears throat> you know, the best part about having a Thursday morning slot for the morning reflection is that um, I feel like maybe most of you are feeling like, ah, it's almost Friday. So we have a little bit of a happier, a uh, little bit of a happier mindset on a Thursday morning maybe <laughs> than earlier in the week. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Good morning, Eleanor, Judy, Sandy, Ed. Good morning. <clears throat> you can't function without coffee. <laughs> Uh, I can function, but, um, yeah, I guess it depends. It depends on the morning, right? Morning, mom. <laughs> I'll give another second or so to, till we get started. I get started a little faster this morning. So I realize a lot of people will watch it after the fact too. So starting at this point is good. Um, people can jump right in, but we'll give it one more minute. What's everyone been doing? What's, what's everyone's favorite, uh, go to outdoor activity during uh, this quarantine. I've been wanting to go find a good trail. Uh, and by trail, I mean like, I like hiking. I, I like I like like moderate to difficult hiking. So like, I'm not gonna go climbing cliffs, but, but like I do like the more difficult hikings instead of just like a trail. Um, so I've been trying to find some, some good trail locations around here. Um, I found a few, but they look like they're like an hour north or so, which isn't bad for like a day off hiking trip. <laughs> but um, yeah, everyone, I hope everyone's been doing some things outside as the weather gets nice. Um, I know we're limited, but it's still nice to get outside and get some sun and maybe even just see other people across the street. <laughs> <clears throat> There you go, social distancing hangouts. Well, you know what? Um, I'm going to get started. I'm going to get started. I want to get started by sharing uh, a little bit of, of a goal that I had this past year. So so this year, rather, um, a goal from last year coming into this year, and that was to read more books. Um, I had a goal of, wow, I don't actually read as much as I would like to. Um, especially read different books. So I set a goal to read more books this year than than anything, <clears throat> than, than the years before. But as I started reading books, I, saw, I sort of realized that there was a problem with that, uh, with that goal. And that was that setting a goal to read more books in a year actually caused me to just ch choose shorter books to read. So like I was actually just choosing books maybe that I didn't even necessarily want to read um, or like books that I wanted to read but I was I was swaying towards the shorter versions of them because I wanted to meet my goal of read more books this year. So my goal was to read more books and what would I do is I would sway to shorter books um, which is not necessarily what I wanted. Uh, also it caused me I realized to, because once I realized that I said, okay, well, I'm going to start reading the books that I would like to read, um, but I'm going to just try to read them, you know, read as many as I can. And, and there was also another problem with that, that uh, as I was reading these books, I was not paying that much attention to them. I was not lingering on things. I was not like meditating in a moment or on something that I thought was like powerful or resonated with me. Uh, instead, I was just trying to reach my goal and read more books. Uh, which I think is a big problem, and and I had to kind of call myself out on it and be like, why am I, why am I pursuing this? Why am I not taking my time and reading these books? 
Um, but the reality is, is I was pursuing information, um, not transformation, right? Uh, and, and I think that we need to think just like that. We need to think that we need to pursue transformation and not information, which is it sounds like the opposite of what I just said, but I'm just saying it reverse. Um, we need to pursue transformation and not information. And, and uh, there's something that actually a, a theologian says. His name is Eugene Peterson. He says, a disciple is a learner, but not in the academic setting of a classroom. Rather, more like the work site of a craftsman. More like a disciple is a learner, more like in the work site of a craftsman. And God's purpose in our learning is, is that we become Christ-like, right? Like we become more like Jesus. Uh, in our case, we would love to love like Jesus, right? Love more like Jesus. Um, and not that we necessarily become information databases. And, and I, I saying this, this reflection is sort of a, a personal thing for me because um, back when I was interning um, back in Syracuse, I was uh, very much approaching uh, my internship at the beginning, I was approaching it like, how much can I learn about this? What, what I mean, I want to read as many things as I can. Tell me the things I can read. Uh, I want to watch and learn and listen. And I want to take in information because if I don't have enough information, how am I possibly going to do this, um, do this thing for other people if I'm not smart enough, if I don't have the knowledge, if I don't ABC. And while certainly information is true, right? I'm not going to sit here and say, do not read the Bible or don't read books. Um, but the information turned out to be less useful and valuable to me than it, uh, it was to like actually s to linger, which is kind of like the word of the morning, to linger in it, to slow down and to uh, watch and listen and act slash react to the Holy Spirit. So Again, information is good. I got a lot out of reading all the books that I've read, and I will continue to read. <laughs> but um, I found that I was actually like taking in the information, taking in the uh, ability and learning and growing and transforming when I was intentionally placing myself in a, in a space to slow down and to pay attention to things. So um, while reading is great, I mean, sitting with people and getting experience is amazing, right? Um, in Colossians 1.10 says, so that you may live a life worthy of the Lord and please him in every way, bearing fruit in every good work, growing in the knowledge of God. You know, people might be impressed with how much information we have stored away, um, but God is concerned with how much we've been transformed, Right? God isn't gonna, God isn't concerned about the information we have. There, there's not going to be a uh, scantron sheet at the entrance to heaven, right? <laughs> Which is a, it's a funny thought, I guess. Um, so the point of all of us reading and praying and worshiping and and our life groups, right? Everything that we do is, is not merely that we learn about the craft, but that we actually learn the craft of Christ, right? Of how to speak, how to love, how to walk how to teach like Jesus, um, to walk in a manner worthy of the Lord, which is, I think, exactly what Colossians 1.10 is talking about, so that you may live a life worthy of the Lord and please him in every way, bearing fruit in every good work, growing in the knowledge of God. And the scripture even talks about knowledge or information, right? I mean, again, it's, it is valuable and important, the things that we read and, and the things that we ingest, um, incredibly so, but taking our time to linger and to, and to actually absorb things. Um, and if, if we think about it, we're all doing it, right? We're all doing it in, in just like this said, uh, the way that we are praying, when we're worshiping, when we're in our life groups, we're, we're being surrounded by this um, one directional push of loving like Jesus and acting uh, Christ-like. So, it's almost inevitable that we transform, but it is actually pretty easy for us to put a barrier in front of our own selves, um, which is to say like, hey, hold on, like, like, why am I doing this so slow? I could be doing this quicker if I read more, if I, if I uh, ingest more, do ABC, um, but actually like it's important that we slow down and maybe you felt that in this quarantine space that we, uh, as things naturally have slowed down, um, 
that, man, I can't wait to get back to work. Man, I cannot wait to get more clients. Man, I just want to do all these things. And, and I know that those things are important. Um, but we're here right now and God has us here right now. And I think slowing down and taking some time to really um, just linger in that space is a good thing because this is transformational for us. And uh, there are vital and even like priceless things that we will learn about God, uh, that we'll learn about ourselves, that we'll learn about others, uh, even that we'll learn about the enemy um, through God's like time consuming, uh, incremental, repetitive uh, love and, and process of learning. And, and the reason I use the word repetitive is because I remember thinking, ba again, back when I was in my internship, um, although I'm sure we all have a story like this, I would think like, man, why am I, I'm doing this thing again, right? Why am I doing this one thing over and over and over again? Why are we doing these things over and over and over again? Well, that's because uh, it transforms us, right? You could read something and you could ingest that information. And, and yes, science says that to, to like fully ingest it, you have to read it a couple times or you have to write it down, which is a, the way a lot of our brains work. Um, write it down to remember it. But um, man, doing something and especially doing something multiple times really has that effect of, of sticking with us, doesn't it? Um, like I said, I was so focused on trying to read like, I mean, I need to read more church history and more biblical commentaries and I need to read all of these different things. And again, those things are important and I've learned so much through those things. But, um, man, the, the work of God's kingdom is just exactly like Peterson says, I think it's, it's so much like the work of a craftsman where it just takes time and it takes effort and practice right? If you've ever prayed for someone before, you know that even prayer takes practice, right? Um, I mean, my first praying experience for someone was probably not that glorious. <laughs> and, and sometimes they just aren't. But it takes practice to do uh, these things. So I would just encourage you as, as we're in this time of things naturally slowing down, that we don't look ahead in a way that is rushing or look ahead in a way that is, um, man, I cannot wait till you know, um, but rather that we, we think about more the matters of the heart and that we slow down because, because if we slow down, it gives us a chance to, like I said, linger in the moment. And I find that it's so much easier to hear and to act or react to the presence of God, to what the Holy Spirit is doing around you. And if you are just kind of setting the goals and going check mark by check mark and getting through them, you might miss a little bit what's going on. Um, again, goals are important, but it's really important to uh, stay in tune with the Holy Spirit and to slow down every now and then so that we can actually like absorb a little bit of what's happening around us. So that's what I have this morning. I would love to pray for everyone in here uh, just as we set out on our day for this, for transformation, and for not just the need to rush and take in information. So Holy Spirit, would you come this morning? And if this feels like you, if this feels like something that you uh, resonate with and you feel like you wanna slow down, it's totally fine. You just hold your hands out in a posture of receiving. And as we pray here this morning, just really focus in on, on God. So Holy Spirit, come. And I pray this morning that everyone here would know that they live a life worthy of God. That everyone here would know that they bear fruit in every good work that they do. God, I just pray for more chances for us to slow down, even today, Lord. Give us, give us a moment that we can slow down and listen to you and act and react to what you're doing. Lord, give us courage. Give us courage to, when we hear your call and your nudge, to not hesitate and to just move on it.
God, I pray for um, tenacity, for patience, that as we do these things, these uh, incremental, these repetitive um, things that are, are des designed to help us learn, this process of learning, whatever that might be in your life, whether it's something with work or it's something with reading the Bible, or maybe it's a spiritual gift, maybe you're learning an instrument, maybe you're praying, uh, anything. Even, the, even listening takes practice. <laughs> Lord, I pray that you would give us patience and tenacity to keep pushing forward and to keep practicing and to keep standing back up. Give us a chance today to linger in who you are and who you want us to be. Amen. Amen. Thank you guys. Um, I'm so glad that you guys join every single morning. I love seeing everyone in here uh, talking and just doing this together. So I'm really appreciative of, of our church and our community. Um, we love you guys. We hope to see you uh, tomorrow morning at the Reflection and also on Sunday morning for church. So hope you all are doing well. Please feel free to reach out to any one of us if you have anything you want prayer for. Uh, we'd love to pray for you. So have a good morning, guys.